in this tutorial we want to draw this fish tessellation pattern in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. So we'll go for our uh, square uh, and rectangle tool and then go to shift control and then we try to draw a square. Something like this is okay. Now go for a selection tool and then we go up here to get a guide and place it somewhere. Now we get our Bezier tool, we start somewhere just above here, click and then don't release your hand, just move it, drag your hand down and then I release it and then come somewhere here and then click and then somewhere there, click and then somewhere here and then click now we want to give this a different color give it something like this now if you go to object fill and stroke and then you get this dialog box here let's uh, reduce the opacity a bit so we go to the alpha channel to reduce the opacity a bit so we can see what we are doing okay now we have this i would mm, I think the, the placement is okay. Now we do a duplicate of this by going to edit and then we do duplicate. Now the duplicate I would uh, flip it uh, vertically and then you can just drag it, uh, go to control and then move it somewhere here. You can go down a bit so that you are you know this will um, wait. Uh, let's see but the, the problem is I have to have the same space here because I'm going to drag this down here so maybe I would move this a bit down just almost like almost touching you know but leave a small very very little 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 space there because of my problem is because of the uh, cutting. Maybe I put my snapping on and see how this goes. Okay, I hope that when I cut, it will cut well because sometimes when it's fitting so much, the snipping, the cutting won't be well, but that's the matter. Let's check out. Now we, we place it more or less like that. Now we are going to go do a do a duplicate of this duplicate and then go to control and slide it somewhere here yeah. it's good now we do another duplicate of this and then we slide it also somewhere here yeah. more or less because we want the, the same space here that we are going to have here so we can place this in it okay now what i will do is that i go to i select this and go to shift and select this and go to path and then i do combine now with that combine let me go to this one here select the square now and go to path and do difference I hope there was no remnants okay if you have in case you did it and you had some remnants here you can just cut it using doing difference again with something like a rectangle or anything okay now we have this select this and go to shift select this select this and then go to path and union so now we have our thing that's the shape we are looking for we don't need our guide anymore you can double click it and delete it now we want to draw the fin of the fish so we would go again for our rectangle tool and then this time we draw something like a rectangle like this something like this is okay let's check it out by bringing it here whether it's okay now i would want to distort this a bit so maybe let me uh, i go to path object to path and then i come for my node tool and then i move this a bit just to make it like 
a fish fin i mean it's not necessary it can be anything your imagination you know how a fish fin looks more or less something like this is okay now we we select that and we select the shift and then we select this as well so you select this go to shift and then you select this and then we go to path and then we do union again now we have what we are looking for we need to do our the eyes of our fish and uh, draw some scale something like that so start by going for our bezier tool this time i'm going to use the sequence of straight line mode so i will just come here and draw something like this click and this oops double click to end okay and then now we would um come here as well we draw these three lines so just come here and draw this double click we come here we draw this double click we come here we draw this double click you can do three or four it's not important really and then now we with this selected let go to shift and select this and select this this one as well and select this let's make them combine them so go to path combine so it's one thing now we would draw out the eye um let's see here i go for a circle tool a circle and ellipse tool and then i go to shift control and i draw a circle something like this is okay i think let's see here i and then we do a duplicate of this do a duplicate and then give it a different color just for you to see or we can already give it a, i think i used a very dark color something like this now we can pump up our alpha channels if we want um let me go to i want to use maybe a darker brown color like this for the eye i think that's what i used all this evening anyway and then we go to shift control and then we make it small and then let's move this somewhere here i don't know first let's bring it here for us to see how it looks like before we we reduce the size and all that okay so first i um, give this the uh, pump the color up so that we have the true color that i want but let me select the eye and give it white white is always good for eyes isn't it now let's give it white okay white i have to move the opacity up that's the problem so we, with the eyes is now white i hope everything the opacity of everything is full now oh okay now we have this i would group let me group the eyes okay i go i am i i select this and then select shift and go and select the white one and then i go to objects group so that is one group now i select everything and then i go to shift control and reduce the size a bit just for for us to have space to work now after that what i will do is that i will take the eye and place it somewhere here for the time being i will come for it later i hope i did not distort it in any form now i'll also take the fins and then and this and place it here for the time being now i need this i pick this up here um and then what i will do is that let's see i i i, I need some space we bring it somewhere here and then we would um go to edit and then go to 
clones and then go to create tile clones now uh, this dialog box opens and then i will suggest you go to the shift x per column give it minus 30 and then the shift y per row give it minus 17. i mean we will adjust it yeah it depends on how you cut here because this was just a drawing in case you can always adjust this a little bit to see how this thing will fit into each other nicely it, it, it's just a matter of playing around with these figures but the row will make three and the columns will make three and now we do create so we've created something like this now after generating this i would go in for my uh, parent so go to out and press this and check whether it press again second time we want the the parents always you can see the parents when you have object has nine uh, tiled clones so that's what we, we we were going for we want to delete the parents so that we have the possibility to color the rest of the things so just press delete on your keyboard and the parent is deleted now we can go on and start coloring all our things giving them um, different colors let's see here i leave that to be that color maybe and then i come here and choose this color yeah i mean you can choose any color at all you like let's see here i am giving this maybe this and then i give this this color i give this maybe this color and then this maybe i give it what color should i give it maybe this okay now we have already formed these i think they fit in very well so i wouldn't um, change anything here uh, adjust anything now i have to uh, get my eyes and my fins so i come here and pick this and place it first of all because maybe um, i have to place all of them up so i move this up and then I come for my eye and then I place it here and then I move it up as well. Now I'm going to do uh, duplicates of these. So I just do a duplicate and move it here as well. And then the eye is the same. I do a duplicate and then bring, bring it here. So I think you see what is going on. You just have to keep doing what uh, do a duplicate of each one, duplicate of it and bring it here. And then the eye, you do a duplicate and then you bring it here somewhere there. okay so we finish with the top one the same thing we repeat the same duplicate bring it here maybe i do all the things first quickly not to take your time but i i guess you get what it's all about i Duplicate it. Okay, I have to go back. I need to select this and do a duplicate. And then I bring my duplicate here. I do the same duplicate. I bring oh, duplicate this and bring it here. And then I do a duplicate and bring it here. And then the eye the same i do a duplicate i can also do copy and then just come and paste them i do paste and bring it here i do i select here and do paste 
and then bring it here I do my paste and then bring it here and then I do my paste and bring it there I do my paste and then bring it here and then do my paste and then bring it here you can i mean you can have if you have i'm not going to do that because not to take much of your time but the air uh, you can arrange it nicely and afterwards you can select everything go to select and then you can select everything and then you can go to path and then you do um and you go to object and then you go to group if you want it grouped so this is how you can draw an a fish tessellation pattern in inkscape thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please help me by subscribing to my channel and please give me a like thank you bye